You're trying to do too much again. Time to learn about Masanobu Fukunoa, Japanese farmer who pioneered the do nothing method by listening, trusting, and working with nature. Let's go. Fukunoka was born February 2nd, 1913. His father was an educated man, completed an exceptional eight years of schooling, and the local leaders repeatedly selected him mayor. His mother was of samurai descent and also well-educated. The land had been in the family for over 1,400 years. A troublesome student, he angered his teachers, and one day, his music teacher broke the village organ in frustration. His father sent him Gifu Agricultural College for higher education to prepare for inheriting the family farm. In 1934, Fukunoka secured a role in Okahama Customs Office's plant inspection section. Working on a hilltop factory, he delved into studying diseases, fungi, and pests on imported plants. Quote, In amazement at the world of nature revealed through the eyepiece of the microscope. End quote. His third year at Yokohama, Fukuoka battled acute pneumonia, enduring harsh treatments like exposure to wintry air. Isolated, friends shunned him due to contagion fears. Even nurses fled after temperature checks, leaving him sick, lonely, and fearing for his life at age 25. After recovering, Fukuoka, haunted by his brush with death, obsessively pondered life's meaning. During a solitary walk, he reached a cliff's edge, contemplating the impact of his death. Realizing his lack of true friends, he collapsed into a deep sleep under an elm tree. Waking to a heron's cry at dawn, he watched the sunrise through the mist, birds singing, realizing, quote, All the concepts to which we had been clinging were empty fabrications. All his agonies disappeared like dreams and illustrations of something one might call true nature stood revealed, end quote. Fukuoka quit his job the next day. For months he lived on severance pay, proclaiming, Everything is meaningless. Dismissed as eccentric, he returned home, retreated to a mountain hut, and entrusted with his father's citrus grove. Testing his revelation, he began doing nothing. He let meticulously pruned fruit trees go wild. Insects attacked, branches interlocked, and the orchard withered. His father's grove taught Fukuoka a crucial lesson. Abrupt changes harm cultivated trees, realizing the importance of gradual adaptation to natural farming. His odd behavior was concerning his parents, and as the mayor's son, hiding wasn't acceptable. In 1939, he was offered the chief role at an agricultural experiment station. He accepted at his father's wishes. He moved to Kochi and was expected to increase the wartime food production. Independently, Fukuoka conducted studies comparing yields from chemically enhanced crops with those grown naturally. He scientifically established natural farming superiority over chemical aids, building upon his earlier revelation that doing nothing was best. Quote, I just emptied my mind and tried to absorb what I could from nature. End quote. Instead of asking, how about doing this? Ask, how about not doing this? Over the years, as more natural ecology was reestablished, the less he did, the better the land responded. Fukuoka observed, quote, The earth cultivates itself. Recognizing roots, worms, and microorganisms thrive, he saw no need for human intervention. Plowing alters the environment and encourages weed growth. His first principle? No plowing or soil turning. Chemical fertilizers aid crops but harm the soil. Nature itself can do better than compost and chicken poop, which can cause rice blast disease. Instead, use cover crops like clover as natural fertilizer. Fukuoka's second principle? No chemical fertilizers or prepared compost. Plowing stirs deep-lying weed seeds and chemical herbicides leaves poison. Weeds don't need to be eliminated, just suppressed with straw and ground cover. Plus, timely seeding to eliminate intervals between crops is crucial. His third principle? No weeding by tillage or herbicides. Pests and disease attack the weakest plants, allowing the strong to survive. Chemical solutions, though effective in the short term, are hazardous in the long run, leave weak and chemical-dependent plants. Fukuoka's fourth principle? No dependence on chemical pesticides. 
Obon festival is when ancestors return to earth for three days to visit the living. On the third night, the ancestors go back with a send-off of songs and fireworks. Masanobu Fukunoa, the author of The One Shrove Revolution, passed away on August 16, 2008, on that third day of Obon. He was 95. Thank you very much for listening. Links in the show notes for all the articles referenced here. If there's another farmer you'd like me to cover, send me a message at Farmhop Life on all the social medias or at or Matt at farmhoplife.com. Go feed yourself.